A lot of the clients are facing issues where they've received an environmental notice of the EPA um, and they need to complete certain actions as part of that. So we help them come up with the strategy behind those actions, normally focused on contaminated land, doing site investigation, hydrogeological conceptual site models, risk assessment to get it to an endpoint in time for the deadline that's um, required by the EPA. So the hydrogeological conceptual site model will help you identify whether you're the problem, if there's other sources in the area, the groundwater flow direction, the different aquifers, whether you've got shallow ones, deep ones, the behavior of your contamination. Some contaminants sink in groundwater, some contaminants float on the water table. So using all these concepts and knowledge that we have technically, we can integrate that into the hydrogeological conceptual site model, which then points towards the problem and how you might solve that. Some of the complexities are the super low criteria that you get. You just need to be aware that you're matching your analytical suite to the criteria that you have. And then cross-contamination issues with different products that contain PFAS. You just need to be aware, so your sun cream that you can have, anything to do with Teflon, post-it notes even, cross-contamination because you haven't washed your pump properly so then you might get an anomalously high result in the next sample that you take. Just making sure that your cross-contamination, decontamination processes are very on point.